into a world of twisted tales and bone chilling experiences with Joseph on the True and Scary Podcast. Brace yourself for the extraordinary. Wally, in 1939, with the Great Depression still raging, RP. Jones walked into Raleigh's busiest store with $5 in his pocket, quite likely the last of his money. He'd looked into a job driving a sweeping away its history, building parking decks and subway franchises on the street where it used to hold public hangings, these real-life ghosts scream from the past louder than any dusty phantom peeking out a window somewhere. On this tour, the city of Raleigh Museum starts off with the bloodstains in its own building, which was once the haunted hardware store where Jones gave into his demons. Everybody does ghost stories, said Ernest Dollar, museum director. We are purveyors of facts. Raleigh is not the pristine college and government town that we are told about. It does have its dark corners, and we celebrate them every year. Walking Civil War Skeletons Dark Raleigh started in 2016 with Dollar and museum staff leading crowds through the city's recesses, offering a rubberneck view at its tortured spirits. But the idea grew as more crowds kept coming, and now the voices of Raleigh's doomed get delivered by live actors. Instead of ghost dogs or spooks rattling chains, Dollar offers the story of the walking skeletons of Union soldiers marching back from Andersonville prison after months of starvation, dysentery and typhoid fever. As one of them passes through downtown Raleigh, he spies a stray dog on the street, grabs it and eats it raw while crowds look on. Andersonville, right, said Dollar, recalling a dark Raleigh nugget from the past. The tour includes no midnight meetings with demons, no witches tossing newts in a cauldron, and, thank the stars, no crybaby lane, a sham Raleigh ghost story riddled with factual errors. You are listening to True and Scary. Your host is Joseph. We will return right after these words. Some of the most horrific true crime stories come from serial criminals, killers, rapists, arsonists. But there are some crimes with behavior so bizarre, so unsettling, that they could prevent you from sleeping ever again. While many of these legendary tales get overshadowed by more infamous cases, these 11 terrible true crime cases of years past will remind you that horror comes in all different, terrible shapes and sizes. Joseph on the True and Scary Podcast. Brace yourself for the extraordinary.